Fragrance of Fireflies. Do you guys remember this? Show of hands. Anybody remember holding anything? Or this. The nice big Bat Mason jar. Fireflies probably died. Like, <laughs> I know I remember this. I remember going to my grandparents' house and they had like this big old pasture for no reason. But I used to go out there and I used to get that jar and I used to fill it up with all the lightning bugs I could and like capture that great, fantastic, magical moment in a tiny little jar. It was great. But the problem is that these fireflies are disappearing. The National Wildlife Federation Guide to Insect Spiders of North America writes, the anecdotal evidence suggests that firefly populations may be on the decline. Fireflies live in meadows, forests, and other natural habitats. As these areas become fewer due to the development, it's important we welcome fireflies into our yard. And today I'd like to spend a little time letting you all know the benefits of lightning bugs, the effects of light pollution and pesticides that have on lightning bugs, and what is being done to prevent this travesty. Um, fireflies. These are bioluminescent bugs that have provided years of good, good memories for all of us as children. According to the Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia of Etymology states that, however, North American species may, can be expected to become extinct during the next century, which is a shame. Because these little guys obviously glow and their light is 100% beneficial. Like it doesn't, It's just purely chemical, so that's pretty cool. We can actually learn something from that according to Sarah Zylinski, a writer for the Smithsonian. Fireflies also contain a certain chemical called luciferase, which is a rare chemical used in research on cancer, multiple sclerosis, cystic fibrosis, and heart disease, according to Texas A&M student Linda Brown. So that's what it is in the formula. But there are the benefits. It's used to track tumor cells, bacterial and viral infections, gene expression, signal transduction, cell trafficking, and cellular response to treatment in a whole organism. So I think it's quite obvious that there's many, many benefits for these little bugs to stay around. Now, moving on to the problem, which is light pollution. And according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, the definition of light pollution is Light from cities, vehicles, and etc. that makes it difficult to see things in the sky, such as stars at night. And I think we've all seen it. It's that horrible orangey haze thing that's in the sky that you can't see the moving stars or anything like that. But that's what's affecting the fireflies. Fireflies mate using their little flashes. And so they're drawn to the city lights, and there's nothing there for them to make little fireflies with. So it's a problem. And according to Never ending infrastructure is one of the most prominent reasons for the lack of fireflies. So maybe you could shut off your lights at night for the fireflies. Another problem is, I mean, there's a picture of light pollution. It's not as extreme as that, but it's there. Pesticides equal dead bugs, which is probably the reason for pesticides, you know, kill the dead bugs in the field, or the bugs in the field that are affecting the crops. But these little guys spend their day, like days inside the lawn because they have nowhere else to go. And so when you put pesticides on your lawn, it's killing them, it's affecting their developmental growth. Yep. Um, so many people are trying to rid their property of mosquitoes and it's probably gonna kill the fireflies. This is Chris Paradise, an assistant professor of biology at Davidson College. So that's that. Um, many efforts are being, well, not as many efforts as could be happening. There's one, Uni Clements University is one of the major firefly representatives. They have a yearly project called the Vanishing Firefly Project, where everyone in town counts as many fireflies as they can in 60 seconds in their backyards to try to keep count of the population there. It's not that effective, but. Um, the Museum of Science are also asking the public to write down their, um, their population activity in their backyard. Scientists are a big advocate for the existence of these. It helps to provide research question, answers to research questions. Um, in conclusion, um, these tiny, dazzling, puzzling little insects have given many people some great memories as their childhood. But pesticides, light pollution, and 
Well, those are the main reasons for the extinction, or the upcoming extinction. So take a moment today and relive that childlike wonder by watching a firefly do what it does best.